Hey everyone, it's Donald with FixMyFD.com. So today we actually have a brand new unit in. I've never seen this unit. I've never actually touched this unit. So this is the first time I've ever uh, touched it. Thanks to Tim over at Stay Fresh for setting that up so that way we can actually test this out for all of you guys. So the box itself has already been come off because when it came off my truck, it obviously came off. So a lot of the uh, styrofoam and all that stuff came off, but that's as far as that's actually gone with opening it. So let's get to the unboxing. So this is your Stay Fresh unit. So overall, I like it standard because there's actually, I just shocked myself, uh, there's a lot of static electricity here in Alaska. It actually uses screws, okay? We're not using three millimeter screws like I've seen with other machines. So <coughs> first off, that's probably very good. I like it. We don't have to go out and buy one, anything. Um, looks like a metal latch, unlike the plastic we've seen on other units. Uh, more high quality, this right here, all high quality, it looks like metal. Uh, doesn't look like it adjusts like we have on some other units. And when we close it up, we still see that little bit there. So typical gasket we've seen on other, other units. So the one thing with Stay Fresh, I will say is uh, they have um, only one size right now. Taking out the tray system, this is one thing I actually like already too, is there's actually feet on the trays. So it's taking it off that drum a little bit. And then there's actually like bolts here that actually puts us together. Uh, overall, I will say it looks a lot more high quality. Um, so we'll figure out what's up with all these cords, I'm sure, when we get, get to, um, I'm hitting stuff. We'll figure out what all these cords are when we get to the instructions on positive. But I will say overall the tray system, I actually like a lot better than another company that I've used. I will have to look more into these tray cords. This looks like um, um, a probe for the temperatures. And that's what I'm assuming this right here is. So that's, that's exactly what this is. So overall, just open it up. I see a couple millimeter uh, screws here, but more than likely, just as with other manufacturers, you probably want to deal with this one. And all of this looks very clean. So I actually don't see many uh, uh, scrapes and stuff that I've seen on other, other machines. So I'm gonna set this here. We have a couple other boxes here. So I don't know what's in these boxes. They've never been opened. I'm gonna use a knife, so make sure you guys are careful with what you guys use. I'm gonna assume this is the tray. And it looks like they've updated their trays from what I've seen from other people. So before, many people were saying these didn't have a lip, and it looks like they've redone their trays I actually really like these trays too. Um, they're not flimsy with other brands. So I have a feeling when I put milk on, they'll be a lot better. I think the lip might be a little higher. Uh, looks like each one is individually welded. I will say the other company probably has better looking trays, um, but these are uh, definitely thicker, I think. And that's just my personal opinion, obviously. I don't have anything to measure. So four trays is what we have in here. But definitely initial first thoughts are a high quality build from what I can see. So 
So one thing I do like to see is a, um, an actual instruction manual. It legit tells you exactly how to install, freeze drying process, which I would love to see what they actually have listed as. As you guys know, I have a uh, big pet peeve right now of how other companies have changed that process or what they believe is a change to that process. So overall, decent book. Actually, Stay Fresh has done a really good job on this book. Um, I know their computer system's definitely different than what we see in some other companies. So overall, I do like um, their book. Uh, rest the freeze dryer for 24 hours before use. So that's one thing that um, I haven't done yet, right? This machine just got off of a transport truck. I have not let it sit for 24 hours, so I will not be starting it up today. It looks like this is accessories, okay? They have an oil filter, a drain tube. They actually give you a flash drive. Actually, um, I'm super uh, impressed. Good job, Tim, or Stay Fresh for um, the flash drive that's there. So I kind of don't know what the electric air pump is for, but something definitely, it seems like at least they went through and made sure you have any extra parts that you might need. So this right here is going to be part, and I'm sorry that it seems like I don't know what I'm doing because I really don't. Um, definitely this is a new system never seen before this it looks like a filter of some sort probably for the oil it has some paper filters i'll be honest with you if they're asking people to um filter their oil i'm never gonna do it so that will never happen holy smokes it comes with a tool oh my gosh it comes with a funnel something we never saw before with other other freeze dryers a wrench I mean man uh, Tim you are surprising me right now so my guess is this is actually part of the um, filtering system I'll never use it as I said more stuff for the filter that's what that exactly is for so tip swabs I'm assuming this is for some cleaning the USB drives in there there's also some vacuum hose clamps this is going to be our vacuum hose is what I'm going to assume. Um, I'm really interested to see how the, good this vacuums. Um, if this is, the good thing is, is they at least tell you what it is, right? PVC steel wire hose, um, but your drain valve, and we're looking at a power cord. An impulse sealer uh, looks pretty standard. It's not the made for um, Stay Fresh, but I mean, it might do better than we've seen on other companies for sure. Looks like they got some Mylar bags. And then we got some other before operating your freeze dryer. Carefully review the notes below. So they definitely have um, how to name your freeze dryer. That's a first step. So uh, total cycles, how long uh, freeze time varies, four to 12 hours, it actually tells you what to expect. Um, I'm super impressed with just the basic instructions that are actually provided with this machine. Um, it does talk about don't run the vacuum test unless you're asked to do so. I've always been a fan of a function test, right? Um, their goal, according to this already, is under three, uh, about or under 300 M tours in 20 minutes. So that definitely is a higher standard than any company that is currently on the market. So, okay, I see what this, so I already see what this air pump is for actually. So it's actually to re, after the batch is done, run defrost or open the door, take out the shelving unit, remove all ice and back and in the vacuum chamber. Um, then you're going to insert the air pump in the drain hole in the rear bottom of the 
as shown below, and you're going to run the air pump for 10 seconds, blowing out all the moisture. So um, that's something that you guys are going to see Felix and I talk about is that exact thing, right? You guys have drain valves that have moisture that gets stuck in them and some nastiness that gets stuck in it. So a filter, we got some swabs. My guess is for cleaning, but obviously I'll figure that out as we go. Biggest thing I'm really impressed about is, honestly, I'm really impressed to get the, this out. It has a good instruction book, it seems like. And it came with some tools. Um, number one thing I had to go buy when I got my old free dryer is tools. So it's the little things that matter. Um, this is a beast. So I'm gonna try, hopefully I don't wreck anything, but this is your industrial pump that is sold for the Stay Fresh. So immediately when I picked up the box, I knew definitely um, an upgrade compared to what I've seen in the past. I'm actually gonna have to contact him over Stay Fresh, figure out how we may, might be able to get these um, ordered and test these actually on some other machines. So this will get tested on other machines uh, as long as I can figure out how to do that. So vacuum, it's actually like a, um, a decent packing in there. Oh my gosh, this thing is a beast. Whoa. So, I'm gonna ask my wife before I, you can see this okay on the camera. So this is a monster um, compared to any vacuum pump I've actually seen on a freeze dryer. So it looks like it has KF25 fittings, which are pretty standard in some more industrial type stuff. I'm not even gonna take this apart because I wanna read an instruction book before I mess with it. So first impressions of a Stay Fresh machine. I can honestly say I'm super impressed just with the build. Um, they're still using R410A. Um, that's probably unfortunate, but you know, that's what other companies are currently using. On and off switch seems pretty normal. Definitely all together a nice looking machine. Let me get over to this other side. Uh, it actually has some open and close right here. There's another one here. I know one is for the drain valve. Well, and then you got one over here too. So overall, I'll make a video on putting the machine together and getting that initial start done that will happen tomorrow because I'm super excited, but I also want to read the instruction <laughs> instruction manual before I do anything with this uh, thing. But Tim over at Stay Fresh, first impressions, uh, brother, you guys outdid yourself. I'll just be straight up honest. Um, my first impression is that um, if you guys are interested in picking up one, so this industrial pump, uh, runs about $725, I believe extra, which is pretty standard in the freeze drying community right now for a improved pump. Um, we'll see what looks like it might've shipped with oil already in it. I'm not sure. We'll see how well it works. We'll see the CFM on it. We might even have it written here real quick. So I think it's a 10 CFM, um, but KF25 fittings, I'm really interested to see how this thing works. So if you guys don't see, I'm excited. Uh, it's been a while since I've been probably this excited. So Tim, Thank you so much. I look forward to doing reviews on this uh, machine for you guys. And I look forward to doing all of the reviews for fixmyfd.com. Uh, if you guys are interested in one of these machines, Stay Fresh was nice enough to give us a $50 off coupon. So when you go on Stay Fresh's website, use the code fixmyfd, and it'll actually take $50 off the price for you guys. So 
I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will get this uploaded tonight. As you guys know, I don't edit my videos, so I might look like a dork up here, but uh, I've been super, super stoked to finally see this machine, get it in. Tim did a nice upgrade with this um, vacuum pump. And let me know in the comments what you guys initially think. Is there something I missed that we talked about when I was unboxing this that maybe you're like, hey, Donald, you missed this part and it's pretty important or uh, anything. So I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a great night and we'll talk to you guys soon.